Portuguese bean soup. Able to leap a a la park in a single bound. Look, on the stage, it's a bird. No, it's a plane. No, it's Pocho Man. Yes, Pocho Man. Strange visitor from another country with powers far beyond his control. Yes, Pocho Man. And who, disguised as Frank DeLima, mild-mannered comedian for a great metropolitan nightclub, fights a never-ending battle for truth, justice, and the Portuguese way. Yes, I'm Pocho Man, ladies and gentlemen. And I am the defender of the noblest race, the Portuguese people. We are a proud people. We are a distinguished legacy. Let's give three cheers for all the Portuguese, from Clyde Guerrero to Carly Money. Let's give a toast to Bring on with arrows, Leroy Fernandez and Marie R.T. Ladies and gentlemen, I am sick and tired of people proliferating Portuguese jokes. I hate when they cut down us Portuguese people. I hear this joke the other day. Three guys died and went to heaven. One Japanese, one Filipino, one Portuguese. Oh, I'm sorry, I gotta be equal here. One Buddha head, one book book, and one Portuguese. St. Peter said, in order to enter the pearly gates, you have to answer this one question correct. So he calls the Japanese guy over first. Masa, how many L's in the song, Here Comes the Bride? Hmm, no more erudes. Very good, you may enter heaven. <laughs> he calls the Filipino guy over next. Eduardo, come here. Eduardo, how many L's in the song, Here Comes the Bride? Eh, eh, I suppose maybe... No more. Very good, Eduardo. You may enter heaven. Aya, he go higher. Then he calls the Portuguese guy over next. Mano. Mano, come here. How many L's in the song, Here Comes the Bride? Mano, he think. He think. He goes, oh, St. Peter, I like go heaven, but this one tough question. But he doesn't give up. He thinks some more. 
He goes, I get him. Get 27 L's. St. Peter looks at him. Mano, how you got 27 L's? Mano says, La 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 I cannot stand when people cut down our ancestors. I cannot stand when they cut down our history, our people from the old days. This story is going around about this war on this battle on Baboo's Hill. Happened in World War II. You never heard of that? Battle of Mabu's Hill was terrible. Oh, oh, plenty of Portuguese soldiers died. Not one German soldier. World War II. But plenty of Portuguese. This story goes, these two German soldiers were in a foxhole. And one turned to the other and said, Heinrich, I have a solution on how to get rid of those Portuguese soldiers. And Heinrich says, what is that, Frederick? And Frederick says, well, I will yell out a Portuguese name. The soldier of that name will stand up and we shoot them. Heinrich says, Heinrich says, Cedric, I don't think that Portuguese soldiers are that Gustafin, which means stupid. And Felix says, I will prove it to you. So he yells out a Portuguese name, Maderes. Maderes stands up. <laughs> they shoot them. Un Gomes. Gomes stands up. They shoot him. Un Souza. Twins. <laughs> anyway, on the other side of the battle line, these two Portuguese soldiers are talking and one says to the other, you know these damn German soldiers, they're making us Portuguese look stupid. You wait. When they call my name, you stand up. When they call your name, I stand up. <laughs> For Tony Souza, let's extend our praise. For two rapos, get our voices raised. For George Correa and his dear wife Judy For June Machado let the beacon blaze Let all the trumpets sound for Liz Jardine And let's put Colbert on Time Magazine To every Oliveira in the world A million honors we bestow We are not stupid people ladies and gentlemen We are smart and I prove it to you These three guys were living in a house in Makiki Eh? Now pay attention, lady, because you haven't been paying attention so far. I saw that Maria Tunta look on your face. <laughs> they were living in a house in Makiki. A Japanese guy, a Hawaiian, and a Portuguese. And uh, the next door neighbor, while they were watching TV, and the next door neighbor, Stephanie Jardine, brought over a small bowl of stool. And so they decided, who's going to eat the stool? There's only enough for one guy. So they said, well, let's go to bed. The next morning, whoever has the best dream can eat the stew. So they went to bed. Next morning, they got up. The Hawaiian goes, I got the best dream. I went to one luau. It was so unreal. Had everything you could eat and all you could eat. Not like some of these luau's get half crab, one OP, <laughs> lomi lomi tomato. <laughs> so the Hawaiian said, I was eating so much, I got so full. The Japanese guy said, that's nothing. I went to one party thrown by... Japanese businessmen from Tokyo. Holy Moses, you should have seen lobster, crab, oysters, clams, all the way down the line. All you could eat. I never ate so much expensive food in all my life one time. I was so full. And both of them turned to Mano, who was sitting in the corner, quiet. Mano, how come you're so quiet? What do you want to dream? And Mano says, oh, I dreamt you guys was full, so I got up ate the stew. <laughs> For Pearl de Lima, let the saints appear. For Bob Maderis, let the world revere. Let's throw a party for Francis Robello. And let's invite the Northern Hemisphere. And I have another story to this prove all the way that we're smart people. These three guys were fishing. And they got stuck in a storm, and they ended up on this island, which was inhabited by cannibals who spoke English, so that we can tell this story. <laughs> they captured the guys, and they told them they're going to kill them, skin them, and make canoes out of their skin, but 
they can choose the way they want to die. So the cannibals went to the Japanese guy first. Sir, how would you like to die? And he goes, hmm, like true samurai. Take samurai sword, chop my head off. So that's what they did. They chopped his head off. Skinner made a canoe out of his skin. Went to the Hawaiian guy next. Sir, how would you like to die? He says, oh, uh, I guess you can get one coconut and uh, smash my head. So they got a coconut. One hour later, still working at it. <laughs> Finally, they kill him, they skin him, and they made a canoe out of his skin. I ain't gonna whine now after this joke. Let me tell <laughs> Went to the Portuguese guy next. Sir, how would you like to die? He says, give me a fork. Cannibal looks at him, what? The Portuguese says, give me a fork. Cannibal says, a fork? What are you going to do with a fork? The Portuguese says, hey, just give me a fork. So the cannibal gives him a fork. The Portuguese says, here's to your canoe, boy. <laughs> we are smart people. <laughs> For Sid Fernandez, let the sun eclipse. And let's commence with the apocalypse. From sea to shiny sea. Let's give a call. Hip hip hooray for Portugal. Everybody hip hip hooray for Portugal. Hip hip hooray for Portugal. Hip hip hooray, let's go. Hip hip hooray for Portugal. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you very much. I'd like to welcome all of you, and I hope that you folks will have a nice evening with me. Um, and those Portuguese jokes were jokes that uh, I'm sure will really make you feel, well, Portuguese are really smart people, okay? The last two, all right? <laughs> but the Portuguese are the dumb ones, see? Yeah, because Portuguese, we came over on ships, the Portuguese swam over. You know that, right? So all these jokes are about the Portuguese, the ones that don't pay their bills, see? And uh, like, for example, the two Portuguese that were driving to the airport and they saw the sign said, airport left, so they turned around and went home. <laughs> Frank? You know, when he was a kid, he used to run over the dog poop with a lawnmower so he didn't have to pick it up with a scooper. But I love him anyway. What a guy. Ladies and gentlemen, your favorite and mine, Abdullah Fata'ai. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Abdullah Fata'ai, and I would like to introduce the band to the far left, Mofa, to the near left, Monia, and to the guy in between, Mo in between. And now, I would like to sing a song about my favorite subject, me. I'm nine feet tall and six feet wide. I've got a neck made of elephant hide. I scrape the howlies off the soles of my feet. I drive my Volkswagen from the back seat. Abdullah, 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 Fata. Abdullah, 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 Fata. Bananas, tree and all. My favorite game is tackle football. I wear a skirt, but you better not laugh. Because Howley, I'm gonna break you in half. Abdullah, 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 Fata. Abdullah, 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 Fata.
Look at me, Howley. Before I hit you with my ulu. I'm as gentle and sweet as one grizzly bear. Only difference is he got more hair. I have largest muscles in all of Oahu. Next to King Kong, King Kong look mahu. And to la, and to la, and to la. I have the nicest smile in all the Pacific. My island home is super terrific. I know like fight and you know like die. So Howley, when I say talofa, you better say hi. Abdullah, 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 We've been in fast-moving beds many times, but always too many people watching, watching. I know what you're thinking. It's the bed race, the bed race. Chili and rice, beef carries two salt on a fries. Hamburger steak, chili and rice, beef carries two salt on a fries. Liver and onions, liver and onions, liver and onions. Show you chicken, beef, tomato, fried egg sandwich, fast green salad, tuna sandwich, but tofu. Corn beef and cabbage, oxtail soup, food, cup to cup soup of the day. Corn beef and cabbage, oxtail soup, food, cup to cup soup of the day. Sweet sour spirit, jalo, kapai, alamo, potage, bean soup. Uh. Nani? Anyway, you can find KC Drive in plenty places. Don't worry, Gato Gozaimas. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a public service announcement by Koho Radio. Suki ga deta deta, suki ga deta, ayo ayo. Hina san wa, ano, Honganji Mission, no one ever knew Gozaimas. Ano, fundraiser des. Bon dance Gozaimas, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Special guest star is uh, Jimmy, also nice to see you guys. Patrick Swayze Zuki. Patrick Swayze Zuki is going to teach lessons in dirty dancing. Gozaimas. Until then, sayonara o yasu minasai. Koho Radio Station now present the Children's Hour Sashimi Street. Sashimi Street today has a special guest star, Pee Wee Herman Nato. Konbanwa, boys and girls. This is a Pee Wee Herman Nato gozaimasu. I would like to say hi to all my classmates in the kindergarten at Mokuhana School in Molokai. My mommy used to Sing this song to me every time I had a call and I was eating. And I like to share it with my classmates. Don't sneeze when you eat diamond. Don't sneeze.
end when you eat sign in. Cause the soup's gonna go all over your clothes. And the noodles are gonna come out of your nose. And you gotta pull them out or breathe them back in. So don't sneeze when you eat time. Bye, bye! For radio station Sashimi Street is brought to you by Affordable Tours Gozaimas. If you can afford to go to Tokyo, we send you Tokyo. If you can afford to go to Singapore, we send you Singapore. If you can afford to go to Haraiba, shoot, we chant them. And now for radio station, 5.30 edition of 6 o'clock news. Gozaimasu. Hontane, there is a big war raging in the Middle East. President Reagan is stuck between Iraq and a hard place. Gozaimasu. <laughs> Inflation is up. Prices up. Everything up. Dishes up, glasses up. Oh, sorry, that's Korean bar, 6.30. In life, we're not worth a living. Terrible. Be brave. Oh, I'm sorry, I get carried away when I must. And now, go to your station. Music theme. Top 10 song in Tokyo, Japan. Gozaimasu. Number one song, Slant Eyes. Causes big riot in Tokyo. Insulting to Japanese race. Gozaimasu. Although I'm proud I'm Japanese. Sometimes it's very hard to see. Second verse even more insulting. We can look right through Venetian bride. We like to stare at our lives. I do not get it. Why are they insulted? We have slant eyes for reason. So Japanese can tell the rest of the world what happens when we turn off television set. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the movie report. Keomoku Street Productions present Yobo Side Story. Yobo Side Story is a story of a gruntu. That is Marine, Marine. <laughs> Grantu, fall in love. Grantu, fall in love with a Korean barmaid. Very sad story. Korea, I just met this girl from Korea. Her hand upon my knee Her breath smelled like kimchi To me Very depressing story, ladies and gentlemen Please do not go and see it And so we sign off now Domo arigatou gozaimasu, ladies and gentlemen Tomorrow morning, flag raising, 6 o'clock And till then, sayonara! K-O-H-O-U-K-O-H-O-U-K-O-H-O-U-K-O-H-O-U-K-O-H-O-U-K-O-H-O-U-K-O-H-O-U-K-O-H-O-U-K-O-H-O-U-K-O-H-O-U-
Bruce Spring Roll. And I tell you, I am the cousin of that Jew bugger, Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> and you know, ladies and gentlemen, I am very successful today. I have my own restaurant. Yeah, I built them by the LOI. It's called Steam Fat Restaurant. <laughs> I built them there so nobody can tell the difference. <laughs> and I'd like you also to know that I have graduated. I am so proud I have graduated. <laughs> and so, oh, excuse me. I graduated. Yeah. <laughs> and so, I am very successful as a musician and as a smart Chinaman. And I like to tell you, though, when I was a kid, I had a hard time. I didn't have an easy life at all. There was this bully on the block. His name was Malcolm, and he was a real pain in the bowling. <laughs> he used to play all kind of plank on us. Oh. I knew this bugger would break. I bought it in Hong Kong. The guy, he ran after me. I just look in the window. He come out the window. Here, here, five dollar, five dollar. I said, I don't want the glasses. I look. He said, two dollar, two dollar. I said, I don't want the glasses. He said, one dollar. I said, no. He said, 50 cents. I said, I take them. Junk thing, the thing blocked yesterday. I bought them yesterday. The thing blocked already. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I wrote a song about this Malcolm. And it go like this. I like to pay that bugger back. I flint Malcolm with a funny note. Did a couple of matches in between my toes. I'm beginning to perspire. A flame is coming up to my knee And they're getting a higher Whoa, I'm on fire You know my friend Malcolm, he like to joke He like to see his friend go up in smoke Hey operator, can you answer me? The flame is taking up my bivari And they Getting higher, I'm on fire. My nose here look like a forest fire. Now I look like Richard Pryor. Ladies and gentlemen, the first lady of the shoe business, Imelda Marcos. I am Imelda. I love how I age. I would love to live next to you. I am Imerda, I'm Ilocano. Salamat po. Salamat po, di osti agni na manong manang ading and adong. Ladies and gentlemen, Life is not that issue. <laughs> I am very, very sad. <laughs> For more reasons than you think. Inside, I am all torn apart. <laughs> torn apart, sir. <laughs> I miss so much. But especially, 
I miss my shoes. <laughs> I left my shoes in my Manila. I left my bra. And my panty Sino mo snap When I come home For you Filipino I'll wear I am not very happy. <laughs> the only thing that's keeping me keeping me from cracking up is the love that I have for Perdanan. Because we have nothing else. At all. Who stole my wagon? <laughs> you leave it alone for two seconds and one more come along take already. <laughs> but still I have my love for my husband. Husband. <laughs> and my husband has love for me. When manong man Ferdinand has proved to me Not even disaster can break us apart When manong Rusto in hit, eh, boy? <laughs> no can. My love of burden. It's stronger than. It's stronger than. The stink is. to leave me loose <laughs> Four hungry children and a crop in the fields I've had some bad times I've been through some sad times This time the hurting won't be You picked a fine time 
Won't you leave me, Lucy? Ladies and gentlemen, I want to let you know that this song by Kenny Rogers was created in a bar in Kaliha. Long time ago, don't laugh, that's how you howlies talk. Long time ago, Kenny Rogers came to Hawaii and visited Pume Hainers in Kaliha. And he was sitting there having a beer and there was this Hawaiian couple having a lover spat. He listened and he wrote down the words. You see, they were fighting in Persian English. You know what Persian English is? Sounds like this. Persian English. Anyway, they were fighting and Kenny Rogers wrote down the words, took back to Nashville, Tennessee. The boys over there said, what is this? He said, that's a, a lover's spat that would make a good song. They said, we can't understand that, that, that language, whatever it is. So they changed it to the original Lucille, that, I mean, to the Lucille that you see today. So here, today, we would like to sing the original Lucille as it was done in that bar in Kaliha. <laughs> in one bar in Kaliha, I saw this one lady. She sat down and hem all her ring. I was all smelly, but I still was nearly. So I asked her, hey chick, what's your thing? She was all boss up, cause she started for cuss up. She said, I'm fed up to hear. <laughs> He's stupid, he's crazy, and I think I going chug one more beer. I then saw his shadow was more big than one cattle. I checked for see where he was at. Oh. He moved towards the lady who was right next to me. He seemed a kind nervous lot at. He had more muscles showing, like 20 Samoan. For a second I thought I was dead. But he started shaking, cause his heart was stay breaking. He turned to the theater and said, what, Lucille? You gonna leave me now? The kids never eat yet. Mango season not found. I know my car stay smoking and the stereo stay broken, but wow! La la. What, Lucille? You gonna leave me now? After he left us. I ordered two millers. I thought how oh, she made him make it. We then left the bar, got into my car. I still never know what for say. Come in the car! Come in the car! Sit down! Okay. It's a bumpy road, babe. She tried to make scandal, but I couldn't handle. She must have thought I was the kind. She called me Hansel. I can't lie. But I never liked Chancel, cause those words were still fresh on my mind. What? Lucille, you gonna leave me now? I know my car stay smoking and the stereo stay broken, but wow, loud, 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 what, Lucille, you gonna leave me now, you pick the fine time to leave me, Lucille.
esto que es. Oh my God. The ugliest woman I ever saw in my life. How can you tell a party at the crosswalk? He's the one waving at the sign. So anyway, I like to pay tribute to the Blala. So here we go. I did some research, you know, ladies and gentlemen. I found that there was a Blala that was born in the Kapalama area and grew up to be a big rock and roll star. His first language was Pidgin English, so he wrote all of his songs in that dialect. In spite of the fact that nobody knew what he was singing about, he had one big smash hit. But tragedy struck one day as he was driving his Volkswagen bug down Makbu side on his way to a Hawaiian music festival to the CYO camp in Haula. His Volkswagen flew over a cliff and got stuck to a Japanese fisherman then bounced Suji Ulu a line. He drowned dead. That's too much to translate, Holly Man. Okay, let's take my word for it. It was a tragedy. Okay. Anyway, he drowned dead. But his song lives forever. His name, Michi Valens. The hit, Da Blala. <laughs> I'm a blah 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 la. I'm a blah 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 la. No me. I stay Hanukkah like wheeler. I work body and tenda. They live my car. My honey's place. My mother's house. I stay tasty broiler. You know go mess with my sister. I slap your head. I broke your nose. I bust your face. person in the audience that's not relating to this song at all, ladies and gentlemen. And I don't want to point them out because it's a very it's very embarrassing. So I would like to sing the song again and translate it for our holy man over there. Here we go. I'm a blah 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 blah. I'm a large local fellow. I'm a blah 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 blah. I'm a large local fellow. <laughs> same word, same translation. <laughs> no bother me. It is of no consequence. I stay Halikawila. I frequent Honolulu's industrial district. I work body and fender. I am an automotive design specialist. <laughs> stay live my car, my honey's place, my mother's house. I have various places of residence. <laughs> I go stay tasty broiler. Among my interests is gourmet dining. <laughs> you know go mess with my sister. Please do not compromise my female siblings. <laughs> I know but I don't understand that one either. No. Oh, what that sibling? A small plant. That seedling. One you plant, one you fight with. I slap your head, I broke your nose, I bust your face. Howley, would you like your ears in their present position? Shopping center. <laughs> Last year was designated the year of the Hawaiian. <laughs> so I would like to celebrate 1986, the Lima style, the year of the Hawaiian. Ho'oma kau kau!
好好嘛，狗狗，哎<笑> ，No make noise， 那个嘻嘻那呆。No more nothing but the ocean. No more such thing as diamond head over a kiki. Then suddenly there was the sound of one explosion. From the volcanoes came the land of Hawaii. <laughs> Must be okay. I'm still alive. Aloha. Can you hear? Can you hear that? Can you hear? A kolu, a ha. A kolu, a ha, a ha. An abata. And then one day canoes arrived filled with Hawaiian singing. Do what did it did it um did it do? These people sailed a thousand miles across the sea singing. Do what did it did it um did it do? They root the land, root the land for the howle, the howle. They root the land for the howle, and now it's owned by Japanese. Do what did it did it itchy sanju. Singing do what did it did it itchy thank you. Rising above the ranks of the of the natives was a huge man. No, not Mayor Hannibal Tavares. This guy was over seven feet tall. Two hundred years ago, there was a big Hawaiian man. Who decided it was time to unite his people and the land? Kamehameha was just a chief.、Yeah. When he united all the islands, they made him king. Kamehameha conquered one by one. Kamehameha. And he was having fun. Kamehameha. And the when he was done. Kamehameha. All the people were one. Kamehameha. Mehau. And then came the first white man, the first Tura, the first Haole, the first guy to look like you, Haole man. Bam, bam, da, da, da. Captain Cook was a great sailor. He discovered paradise. He said, "Take me to your leader. I have gifts of fluent lice." Captain Cook said, "In the name of the king." Then he told them to pay taxes, and they ate him with poi and rice. Do 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 ba da ba 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 do ba yeah.
money Somebody got rich back then And it wasn't the immigrants Nope, it was the big five The Dilling Spams <laughs> Castle and Crook Alexander Baldwin and Rewald <laughs> And then came World War II Ba-ba-ba, bombs from Japan 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 The bombs are dropping and exploding Nothing left was floating from the Ba-ba-ba, bombs from Japan Sneak attack when we turned our back How do you get a one-armed potagi out of the tree? Wave at him. Know what I mean? And Frank de Lima is earned a silly, silly man. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from Waianae, Oahu, Hawaii, on the leeward side, please welcome Miss Tira Turner. Sick. 
Get out! 